All right, in this video, we're going to have a bit of a stock update, and also this stock that I'm looking at uh, is also the stocks that I'm that I'm actually looking at myself to actually trade as well too. So let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. All right, the first one on my list. And if you're on my YouTube, you can see all the other videos that, that all, all the other videos of the stocks that I'm looking at. But the first one on my list is Roast, R-O-S-T. I like Roast. Because if you see this overall chart here, you can see how it's been range bound. This top chart up the top here, if I just bring this up a little bit more so you can get, get a bit more better view of it, you can see here have a support, 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 support. When we resistance, have a whole bunch of resistance through here. Now, if you look at this bottom chart, this bottom chart's a bit more of a squeezed up chart. And you can see that we actually have that down there so if it does break this support level we start to get a bit of a break at this support level then we actually have uh from there we actually have a nice run down towards it which is around about the about about the five and a half percent round mark so if it does break this level of support then it looks like it's going to start wanting to to head to the downside so and if i look at that and uh Like that, yeah. So that's 44, around about the 44, 64 level mark. That's obviously the support level there. And this is the resistance level here. So looking at that, guys, and looking at that overall, we can really see that that's a lot of support level. So one thing I'm looking for is if we do get a lot of sideways movement, one thing I want to see on this one, and it's very, very interesting, one thing I want to see with this one is if it comes down, I don't want it to just come down like that, down like that, and then break it. All right, the reason why is because therefore it's there's too many days in that move, meaning there's too many down days. I want to see a down day, a down day, maybe an up day, maybe sideways day, and then break it. You know what I mean? So that's what I want to see. I want to see some fiddling around before a break and then a good increase in volume. So that's what I'm looking for. Um, and uh, that's that's what I'm, I'm seeing there as well too. Plus, I'm going to double check all the other levels that I'm looking at as well too. So there we go, guys.